And welcome back to another Java tutorial. My name is Kelvin from Firehawk Productions. In the last video, I taught you guys how to use different kinds of operators. So things like less than, uh, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, equals, as well as does not equal to. And in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you uh, things called loops. And so what is a loop? Well, a loop allows you to uh, keep executing a block of code over and over again until you tell it to stop. And this is really helpful, and I'll just show you why. So first, I'm going to create a new class. And I'm just going to call it loops. Example. Okay, so as always, main method. All right, so we're gonna be learning about two different types of loops today. The first one is known as the for loop. And I'm just gonna type it out here. All right. And the second type of loop, sorry, just let me comment out, end for loop. And remember, it's always good to add comments to your code so that people will understand what exactly you're doing. And the second type of loop <coughs> it, <coughs> we'll be learning is called the while loop, like this. Okay. <coughs> okay. So let's start with uh, let's start with the while loop because <coughs> it's much easier to understand. So what happens here? Um, you can have okay. So what this means is, while this while the condition in this bracket is true, keep running anything in here. All right. So let's give it a simple um, let's give it a simple condition. So up here, I'm gonna create a new variable <clears throat> uh, let's just say X or you know what let's instead of calling it X I've been calling it X so many times let's call it number equals zero and in the condition for the while loop I'm gonna put while number um, is less than 10 then wh what do we want to do well let's just say we want to print out what the number is system dot out dot print lin number okay Oh, sorry. Um, it's telling Java's telling me this is unreachable because uh, I have this for loop up here. So I'm just going to comment all of this out for now. Okay. So what do we have here? It says while the number, while number is less than 10, print out number. In this case, if I just leave my code like this, the while loop will run forever because the num because the uh, variable number is equal to zero and it'll never reach ten. Okay, so while the number is less than ten, then system dot out dot println number. And since we specified number as zero, uh, then the number will always be less than ten because it's it's always going to stay as zero. So if I just leave my block of code like this, 
then the while loop will run forever. This is a really bad idea because uh, then the system will always print number, which means it'll print zero continuously until the end of time. And this is really dangerous because uh, this is called an infinite loop, so a loop that never ends. And uh, usually this leads to things like your program crashing or, or it becomes really unstable. So what we want to do is specify a breaking point or a way to break out of the loop. And in order to do that, how about we add one to number every single time that the loop is passed. So for me to do this, all you have to do is type in number equals number plus one. And what does this mean? It means that if my number, okay, so let's go through the loop the first time. Number equals zero. So it goes through here. System dot I'll print zero. So it prints out zero. And then what happens after that? Well, the number, which is originally zero, now equals the number, which is zero, plus one. So now, now number equals one. All right, so if we go through the loop the second time, then number is now one. Is it less than 10? Yes, so the loop will keep running. And then it'll print out one, and then number now equals one, e or number equals one plus one, which is two. And so it keeps going all the way until you reach to nine, because, uh, once it gets to 10, then this loop will no longer run since our breaking point here is if the number is uh, less than 10 and 10 is uh, not less than 10. So therefore it'll only print up to nine. All right, so if you look at this statement here, number equals number plus one, there are actually more ways to write this than uh, than what I wrote here. Another way to write this is if I just put number plus equals one. And th I'm just gonna write a comment. This is the same thing as number equals number plus one. And so uh, the notation for doing this is Whenever you see an addition sign followed by uh, an equal sign, then it means number equals number plus one. And actually, you can change this number to anything. You can change this number to, you know, two, so that uh, it'll print out, you know, all the even numbers. And uh, if I change this to three, it'll print out, you know, the multiples of three. And uh, so I'll, I'll tell you why. So first you start with zero and is zero less than 10? Yes. So it prints out zero. Then when you go through the loop again, zero now plus equals two. So zero plus two is two. Then it'll go through the loop again because two is less than 10 and then it'll print out two, and then now number equals two plus equals two, which is two plus two, which is four, and then it'll go through it again, all the way until it reaches to eight. Uh, and the third way to write this, so in our case, we did, uh, we did number plus equals one which means you add one to number after every loop. Okay, so another way to write this is if you're just adding one every time, then it's really easy to just do number plus plus. And again, this is the same thing as saying number equals number plus one. You're just saying number plus one. And you can actually do this with minus minus and those two are it. 
but for the uh, other statement where we had plus equals one you can actually have plus equals one minus equals one multiplies equals one div uh, divide equals one as well as um, remainder equals one and this all means the same thing which means uh, so if yeah you can play around with those and see what they do but for now I'm just gonna keep it as uh, number plus plus because it makes the most sense because we want to add one to number every time the loop passes okay so let's try running this if I just press save and run there we go so you see here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then uh, it won't print 10 because 10 is not less than 10 therefore the loop stops when the number reaches 9 okay <clears throat> so that works all right uh, I guess I'll just be teaching you the while loop this time and I'll teach you the for loop in the next tutorial. The next video I will be making uh, won't be the typical tutorial that I uh, usually put out, but uh, it will actually be an incorporation of all the things we've learned in the past 10 tutorials mashed up together. And I'm gonna make it uh, so that you understand everything, you know, much more and in depth and uh, once I go to so yeah the next tutorial will be um, will be tutorial 11 but that will come after the you know the mashup video that I make after this one so again thanks for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe and see you all next video